Blessings. What's going on, y'all? It's Friday. It's Friday, baby. It's Friday, 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 Friday. What y'all do? What y'all get that do? <laughs> I'm just out here in my little garden this morning about to grab a couple things and whatnot, you know? Baby, why, why you ain't put your shoes on all the way? Huh? Yeah, put your shoes on all the way, man. That, why you ain't pick out something to match? Huh? Okay, I'll let you do you. Them your fashions. Oh, okay, Daddy. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Anyway, my head about to go up in this garden and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and grab these collard greens that's here because pretty much next month, I'm going to be starting to grab, well, prepare for some new collard greens. So let me go, you know, I see one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm just going to pick these bad boys up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just... You know what I'm saying? Let the garden get its little circulation on. So that's what I'm about to do. Let me get my little harvest on right quick. Okay. I don't want your little yellow self. You get up up my leaves. 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 Get, 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 get up 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 my leaves. Oh. 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 All right, I'm going to just make this simple. Kitty. Come over here, help help your mom out, okay? Can you come help your mom out? Help your mom out. Can you, uh, Diddy? Hold on, hold on. Let me make this simple. Yeah, I'm multitasking. You know how I do, y'all. Oh. Okay. That's all right. I'm here. Okay. Just get up, 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 Molly. Get, 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 get up, up, Molly. Get that up here. This one could actually get bigger. Well, I'm gonna just go ahead and harvest it, cut these bad boys up, and I'm throwing my tree because I'm gonna be honest, I got a lot of collard greens. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold up. Get the little. You know, I got a lot going on this guard, you know. I want that circulation and whatnot, you know. The have circulation. That's all. Okay. See, I got beans that's trying to wrap around this one. What, what, kitty? Hey, man. Don't be playing with them greens over there. Okay. Woo. I'm sure I probably tearing something up, but that's okay. I just want to get these leaves. Oh, okay. boy, them roots be tight, too. I'm trying to cut it. I know y'all be hearing me scream like, what is this girl doing? Well, let me make this simple. Maybe I'll cut on a more tender part. I'm up here trying to cut on the hardest part of it, trying to harvest. Okay. Hold on a little short, baby. Stop, fly. Stop. I wish you would hit me with that collard green leaf again. Uh-huh. Ugh. So pretty much this is what I was doing, y'all. I was trying to holler at the collard green, and I was cutting on the real hard part, just you know, trying to chop it off. But uh, you know, hey, we live and we learn. It is what it is. As long as I cut it right, I cut it. Whew. Boy, that chicken manuti that I put down yesterday, it stink over here. It sure do. It stink. Okay. I hope I ain't lose my knife. What I do with my life? I bet, see, I'm always losing stuff when I'm outside. That's okay. I'll make a way out of no way, and I'll eventually find my knife. Okay, I'm gonna go on this side, and I'm gonna grab some more collard grain. Okay, by the way, why am I here? Let's see, look, my little watermelon trying to get his little grow on. Okay, and I actually seen a, yeah, there you go, look. I'm gonna have me some watermelons. Okay. I seen another way of that. You know how we in the South. We don't be like, where is it? We be like, where is it? <laughs> what other? I seen another uh, watermelon. I be careful because the ants and stuff over here too. That's the same one. Where's the other watermelon? That's a dang old rabbit hanging, been hanging around here too. Hope he ain't ate the other watermelon. I saw another one. I don't know. We find it later, maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I spotted one for now. 
I'm gonna grab this other collard green right here. Oh, oh, there it go. I know I wasn't crazy. I know I saw another watermelon. Check it out. Hello, here you go down there. Come on, watermelon, won't it do it? Won't it do it? Uh oh, y'all getting tomatoes. They starting to turn red. Now, I had a couple of them trying to turn red as a dang old rabbit around here. I told y'all about the uh, last video. I'm gonna make some carrots out of his behind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna serve him with some carrots. He don't step out my guard. He called himself nibbling on all that good hard work I did. I'm gonna get his behind. And normally, I don't have problems <laughs> with rabbits. But this year, it's just one little rabbit that's been hanging around my garden. I'm gonna get his behind. Uh oh, okra, is that what you look like when you start flowering? Okay, I've never seen it before. I'm learning. New experience, y'all. And of course, the reason why it's new for me because I don't eat okra. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still upset about my knife, though. I'm gonna have to wash all these greens down. Got you all out here on the dirt, but that's okay. You're gonna get a good washing. I'm gonna have to cut the bottom collard green. That's okay. I got one more collard green over there. And this one right here. I don't know. I might just leave it. I don't know if it's gonna grow anymore. But I'm gonna just leave it. Um let's see. Huh. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this one. Let it rain, rain, rain. Okay. So in that little small one that's over there, I'm going to just pretty much leave it. I'm really trying to find my knife, y'all. It's okay. 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 I'm going to just pull the leaves off this one. I'll find my knife eventually. I don't need the roots. I'm going to stand on top of you while I take these leaves off. Uh. Uh. Okay. I don't need this root. Okay. My feelings is hurt by my knife. I'm sensitive about my knife, man. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, obviously... This big old bowl won't have to get a bath. Hey. But see, that's a lot of collard greens I just harvested. Okay. All right. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go grab my phone charger because I see my charger running low already. <laughs> I've been watching y'all videos all morning. I wasn't planning on coming out, but guess what? Whew. I'm here now. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go wash these collard greens. And, or, uh, uh, and then uh, I'm going to do some other stuff. I'm going to see y'all back shortly, okay? All right, bye-bye. All right, y'all. That is back. Oh. My mama told me to go still get some batteries. <laughs> so let me go over her. And I'm going to um, get some lettuce. I'm going to try to save some seeds. So This is my first time doing this. Remember this little raggedy little thing that y'all always looking at and whatnot. So I'm going to harvest that. Oh, I'm gonna just pull this thing. <laughs> let's make this thing the easy way. And let's see. This looks like something that may need to sit just a little bit. It's getting there. So this uh, is pretty much my romaine. My romaine seeds I'm uh, getting. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, that's all I'm getting over. I'm just double checking. So, yep. You know, you be in your little flow things, you gotta take breaks and do stuff and whatnot. So what I'm doing. <laughs> These uh y'all can see my little situation that I've been working on this morning. Uh it's pretty much I think getting afternoon now. So let's look at what I got going on. Alright. So them them greens y'all saw me with this morning. So I just pre got them all good and washed up and so I just got three bags out of that. I got them in one gallon bags. All right, I also, these two zucchinis, one was on each, uh, each individual plants. And 
I just pull them because I didn't want all the energy going into that because I'm just like, I need the whole plant, you know, to get get it cracking. <laughs> so now, from what I've seen people do on YouTube, they just pretty much get their shake on. So that's what I'm about to do. Now you'll see me doing a lot of walking and stuff because I'm short. I'm only 5'1", so a lot of time I got to climb up on stuff when I'm trying to do stuff. See, like I'm doing it now. I'm climbing up on this chair just so I can reach over this table. And so I'm shaking these seeds out of here. Probably along with some ants too. Y'all bear with me. <laughs> now it's my first time, don't judge me. Cause I saw that I, I dropped a lot of these seeds on the ground. Okay, let's see. Make sure I'm actually picking up seeds. <laughs> God, oh, I got this dirty behind bush up here. Y'all be with me. Okay. Let me do this another, uh, easier way. Like if I do this, let's see. I got seeds like that. So hold on one second. I'm going to just shake because it's hard for me to hold the phone. So I'm going to get my shake on and then I'm going to see y'all back, okay? Okay, y'all. So here's where we have an honesty moment. <laughs> like I said, this is my first time saving seeds and whatnot. And I'll be honest, this is a lot of seeds. I mean, it is a gang load of seeds. As you see these little pods here. Can you see? I'm just pretty much opening them. And then the seeds are just coming out. So I literally have a gang load. But do you see how big this little bush is? This thing is huge. So it made all those little pods on there. That's a lot of seeds. But uh, here's the downfall. <laughs> well, it's no downfall. You're going to get some food out of this, definitely. But uh, I be shaking this little thing. Boy, this thing is loaded. Well, but y'all selling little bugs? I mean, thing. Look, I've been shaking and shaking. So look, I'm paranoid, right? So I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Since we shaking bugs too, along with, I ain't got time to be digging through this whole bush. So if I feel like I need some more, I'm gonna just put it to the side. You know, if it live, you know, whatever. But at least I'm learning a valuable lesson of saving seeds from lettuce. Look, this is one plant. That went to seed one rose, uh, what you call it? Um, romaine lettuce that I let go to see. That's a whole nother one over there, okay? It looks so like I'm just like, I ain't gonna fool with it because there's just so many bugs. Now, don't get me wrong, homestead or chick, I'm not scared of bugs. I'm not scared of my rule is as long as nothing is poisonous and won't bite me, I'm cool. But I ain't got time to be trying to dig through all these bugs, trying to tell the bugs from the dirt and the flowers. So, here's the honest moment, right? I got a lot of seeds. That's plenty. That is plenty of seeds. So I'm gonna just take these little seeds right here and put them in a bag. If I feel like digging some more later, then I'll do that. But here's the bright side of gardening. Like I'm, I don't have a farm. This is my backyard, my backyard produce aisle. I have a lot of seeds. That is a lot, just off what I pulled. Do you see how big this bush is? This thing is huge. I'm not about to pick all this right now. Uh -uh, I'm not about to do that right now, but I, I ain't gonna throw it away. I'll just put it to the side But as far as that, this is all I'm about to pick right now So give me a moment because it's windy as crap as well. So I'm gonna put this in a bag right quick. Hold on Okay, y'all so I am done with that. So again, what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just wrap this up and I'm gonna just show y'all how Those little pods that y'all see me taking off the flower This is pretty much all I'm doing and I'm just removing the seed. So as you can see the seeds are falling okay and i'm gonna just put this in the bag with the rest of the seeds i had to take a little break because between trying to get all them dang on bugs and all that dirt <laughs> again i don't have a problem messing with it but i need to know what kind of bug is dropping up in my presence you know i'm trying to get bit i seen a black widow too so remember like i told y'all yesterday gardening ain't it ain't always cute now I'm just saying. It's like a war zone sometimes. I hear bad on the ants and spiders and bugs, and I don't know who they can to, who their relatives are. I mean, this is not a cookout. I didn't invite everybody. I was just simply trying to, uh, you know, harvest some seeds. So I just tossed that big old bush to the side. I didn't throw it away. I just put it to the side. And if I want to get some more seeds, I'll do that. Plus, I still have, like, already um, seed. I mean, you know, seeds that I've already bought since last year. Make sure I get every everybody here. And I'm grabbed up. 
grab some seeds and dirt. <laughs> okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm putting them in this bag that I labeled. So when it's time for me to uh, plant them, and I'll be doing that soon, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna let them dry out in these paper bags. I hear everybody say paper bags. Paper something or whatever to let them fully dry out in or, or whatever. Remember, this is my first time, so don't look for any expertise, but as you see, I saved some seeds. Some seeds. And I got seeds everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I know I dropped a bunch in the grass, even from where I actually picked up the um the plant itself. The lettuce plant. It was a ton of that on the floor. I mean on the ground. I guess maybe from when it rained or whatever. So anyway. I'm just look in the bag. I got a bunch in there already, so that's cool. And um, so what I'm gonna do, because I don't want to be just doing this for my health now, I am going to plant those seeds uh, next month. I'm gonna just keep them in those uh, paper bags. I'm gonna let them fully dry out. So I am going to plant those seeds, and I'm gonna also plant the seeds that I already bought from other people that sell seeds. That way, I know I'm going to have some lettuce. So, hopefully, they take off. They germinate like they need to. And like I said, I'm going to keep them in these paper bags. Um, I appreciate any advice or tips. If I did something wrong, you know, I let it go to seed. I shake them off along with their, you know, a couple of their friends. Like I say, uh, Durr and Spider and Ants and, um, you know, all them cousins and whatnot that I didn't invite over. So, uh. I'm going to do both so that way I'm learning and I'm getting some a little bit validity in something that I'm doing so I saved them I put it in paper bags I'm going to plant them next month and we'll see how they do along with I'm gonna plant regular seeds so I can also compare and, you know I know that I'm gonna grow the ones I bought so I want to make sure the ones I did as well so that's a part of gardening is learning is experiment and seeing what you are getting into so pretty much you know my little harvest for the day you know them collards that you see me um pull from the back not those flies that keep trying to fly around it um and i just got two zucchinis here and uh that's pretty much all i'm doing today for friday naturally i always walk around and like to inspect my garden to see if i see anything new and i pretty much um kind of showed you guys um let's check out my older berries i guess they should be forming soon okay Y'all look at my little black bear. It bounced back. You remember I complained about it. It came back to us, you know, it was like a little stub, but look, it's bouncing back. Hey. You know, of course that one's fine. That's the bigger one I bought. And this, um, you can't really see. Let's see. Where's this stub at? I saw the stub down here. Wherever it's at, it's alive. But um, I'll keep an eye on this one because there's a black bear plant here too. I don't know if it's dead, but we'll find out. But anyway, we know that one isn't. But anyway, staying on track. Um, you know, elderberry about to uh, I guess get in bear mode. So as you can see, this was all just white flowers, and now it's doing that. So again, this is a process. I'm see everything looked like this, and now everything is turning into this. So you know, I got a good bit. I see all them forming individual plants down here. This is the original one. And then you see these are making, you know, we see them hardy out like that. They're making other plants. So, ah, bumblebee flew around. So I'm going to um, make what it do off that one elderberry. So that's all going on, you know, on this Friday. What y'all got going on today? What y'all cooking? And uh, Fridays is kind of like a tradition, you know. I eat them steak and then of course I harvest you know potatoes and I still got a bunch of potatoes in the bed so I'm going to for dinner tonight I'm gonna have red potatoes I'm gonna have some steak again and uh salad from my garden so I look forward to that what y'all eating on tell me in the comment section what y'all eating on show me what y'all got going on I do enjoy watching a lot of y'all videos I am learning a lot from all of you guys we are in this together we're figuring it out and whatnot it's a journey and my style is pretty much I'm gonna show you is it just just what I see I don't want to hide nothing I don't want to make things look all pretty and I mean of course I want to make things pretty but I because we're all learning from one another I want to show you my ups and my downs I don't think I necessarily had a down today uh, saving those uh, lettuces but we'll see like I say I'm gonna plant both so we can compare 
and to ensure that I did something right. I think I did everything right. I mean, because that's pretty much all I've seen on everybody else's videos. They save the plant to look unedible. And then they shake the seeds off and they save it. That's pretty much what I saw. So that's what I'm doing. I just, you know, I'm just fighting with bugs, dirt, spiders, ants. You know, I just, I ain't, I ain't asked for all that. But uh, anyway, I look forward to continuing to watching y'all and growing. And next month, I'll be getting ready for my fall and winter season. So, and I'm um, actually order some packs of stuff that I don't have. So I plan on doing some Chinese cabbage different types of cabbages um some mustards they all have different names i don't remember them all oh heck no my little seeds flying it is so windy out here listen i just put all these seeds in here let me make sure they still in here okay i still got them <laughs> it flew off my table just now but let me make sure they still in there see they still in there they still okay they in here can y'all see They still in here. Try to open this bag up. They, they in there. They flew off the table. That's why I got paranoid. All that hard work I just did. I better hurry and get that stuff in the house though. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do a bunch of green uh, varieties of stuff I've seen online. I can't pronounce them all. And actually, I hadn't had them all. I become familiar with things as I eat them. So, um, But anyway, I'm going to be getting ready for that next fall. I'm going to definitely make sure I get a new round of sweet potatoes in the ground. And make sure I have my bed ready this time so I don't kill anything. Because, I mean, sweet potatoes, that's like a staple for me because I am very good at getting them. I mean, growing them, they grow extremely huge. You can eat the leaves off of them and everything. They're good. So, I got to make sure I have plenty of sweet potatoes for the fall. So, I'm going to be preparing for all of that next month. As of right now, everything in my garden that I have is doing good. I have plenty of carrots. I have plenty of kale. I have plenty of onions. I have plenty of potatoes, garlic. Um, lettuce, even though most of it's going to seed, but I still have a lot of edible lettuce. And like I said, I'm going ahead and start to prep for next month so I can have some throughout the fall and everything. Um, soon I'm going to have a gang load of black eyed peas. The plants are still getting big. Um, what else? I, I always have herbs. I have plenty of herbs. Soon I have plenty of peppers. I have some now that I harvest, like bell peppers. I've been harvesting those lately. They ain't been growing like abundantly, but they're in, in you know, in the process. So, over the next few weeks, I should have tons of peppers of different varieties, uh, all the ones I've showed y'all. And my tomatoes are beginning to turn red, so I'm going to have a gang load of tomatoes. Um, and I have I have a good bit of corn for, you know, my size family. Um, we're going to be eating some corn tonight, too. So I'm going to have corn, potatoes, and steak, and salad. I'm going to eat all that for dinner tonight. So everything I harvest with this section of the steak. So um, anyway, I look forward. Um, next year, I definitely hope next year be way better in terms of fruit. Um, like my blueberries, I, I can see I have a bunch of blackberries, but blueberries I struggle with. Um, elderberry, I get plenty of those, whatever the birds don't eat. I get plenty of strawberries when I plant those. Um, so I'll make sure I, I have a bunch of that for spring next year. So um, just more so of the fruit trees, I hope they do well. And hopefully my watermelon turns out good. They're growing now. So, you know, I got a bunch of stuff that I'm harvesting now. We'll be harvesting in the next few weeks. And again, next month, I'll be preparate. I'll be in preparation for fall and winter so i look forward to that but anyway i hope you guys have an excellent friday make sure y'all eat good you're gonna hear me say that a lot because i like to eat even though i need to drop a few pounds but that's all right I'm, and i'm gonna do it too i'm gonna do it too but uh yeah y'all enjoy your friday bake some cookies and all, whatever you know just do y'all have fun stay out of trouble stay safe and uh homesteader chick signing out bye <laughs>